install Fedora 22 server uh, that is 64 bit supported and I'm going to installing in VirtualBox we can also install in your VMware workstation latest version 11 the same method the same procedure you need to follow that I'm going to show you every step and every command every link you can find below to my video in the description box so for that first of all what is Fedora three products Fedora actually 22 that is Fedora workstation and Fedora server and the Fedora cloud edition these are the three flavors products is that the Fedora is uh, offering so actually Fedora is and un comes under the Red Hat Linux that is open source and it's a free license you can download you can use it free so installing a laptop or a desktop in a server means you need to have pen drive at least 4 GB empty or DVD you need to have both you need to make a bootable for the installation so first of all requirement you need to have 1 GB processor or duco processor you can have for this and 1 GB RAM you can have for the installation and at least 10 GB of disk space free you need to have our graphic card display card should be 10276 that means it's for desktop supported not for the server so for you can install with a DVD or USB ports installation so you can download Fedora from this below link getfedora.org is the website where you can download Fedora server so the image size which I have downloaded is for the server 2.1 GB is the size so here you can just open your and type virtual box you need to click on this where so you can see on the download the direct link of your download page where you can download the virtual box supported for the latest version 4.26 has been 26 is the latest version so once you download your virtual box after clicking so it will be for download your virtual box you can find my video in a tutorial finish virtual box in my channel to this will be linked available in the description box and how to install the virtual box download in this one so you can download for bits once you click on this one you can download for the extension packs also once you scroll down you can see the windows supported this max for solaris for linux people you can download so windows people you can click for this if you downloaded uh, downloaded iso image of fedora 32 bit means you need to download fedora virtual box of 32 bit if you are downloaded for the fedora 64 bit you need to download the virtual box of 64 bit supported so after that here is your download once you click on this first thing you will be redirect on the server so you can see this is server fedora 22 you need to click on this download you can see 64 bit support show the 64 bit support show is the GB for the installation is, is going to be download for 32 download 2.2 GB is showing for the net installation you can see 64 bit and 32 bits here uh, you can download this one so you can install the DVD or USB flash so download this one this is my virtual box just click to new and into type the server 22 I am giving you need to select your version which you have downloaded 32 bit or 64 bit. You need to click on next. You need to assign the RAM which you have uh, select last point on this red points. You need to be at least at the green point only. After that, assign the RAM. You need to click on next. Click create drive now. This is, this is for virtual box DC that means I have downloaded the ISO image that's why I have selected the first option this is the hard disk size which, I am going, uh, which you want to assign for the installation and this is the location which is going to store in your laptop desktop or server once you assign the hard disk is going to create that you need to click on settings then you need to click on systems then go to processor enable the APX X. Once you click on the storage, you need to click on empty. You need to go to the right side of the panel. You need to click on choose your this, this, uh, DVD where you have downloaded the ISO image. So here you can see this is a Fedora which I have downloaded. Once you click on that one, you need to click on net. This automatically detected. Okay. You need to click on start now. So here you can see Fedora installation. If you want to install directly, you need to select the option by pressing 
the key app and arrow uh, if you want to test this media and install the fedora means it will be test your iso image and after that is going to be installed i'm uh, you can uh, press a tab to get a full configuration just i'm selecting the install fedora 22 now press enter by selecting those option after that Here we can turn the welcome to Fedora 22 server. We need to select the language for this support which comes to your language for the installation. So after selecting your language, click on continue. So the screen we came on the installation summary. So by default the key language has been selected and the US language has also been selected. Now is the time zone house also by the Selection also local media selected. Software selection means if you want to select the what is the package you want to install, like I'm going to show you here. You want to install FTP, DNS, basic server, load balance server means you can select your my Mara database also you can install option. Once you scroll you will find other packages and dependency over here. You can install this one, whatever if you want to have installed. So you can install this is version basic. You can select any three of option also. Once you are done, uh, we need to select your installation distinction. This is my uh, hard disk which I have given the installation. Once you click on this, so here you can see automatically configure the partition. I have checked the box. Um, if you want to go for the manual configuration, you need to check this option and you need to Give the manually partition like you want to give the root partitions, home partitions, slash as variables, and other variables, partitions you want to do manually. If you want to have automatically, you will check this box and you can go for the automatic partitions also. So it will be have saved the configuration. The internet also is have been saved automatically. Uh, we, we also already unchecked this box. So has been saved. After that, you want to click on begin the installation now. So here, you at most need to assign your root password. So you click on that one. You want to assign the root password. I give. I am giving root weak password. You need to give a strong password for this root. And remember the root password whatever you are giving. So you click on one. You need to assign the user creation. That is logging user. I am creating one more purpose user, so you need to give a full name here. In ping network name and cloud, and I am going to make this administrator or required password. I am unchecked. Uncheck this box. If you want to assign this user password, you need to check this box and assign. Once you are done, you need to click on done. After that, so you can see user cloud will be created. So here it's going to be download and install the all those packages. Till then it takes almost here five minutes and about half an hour. Till then you can have a coffee, a cup of tea. Back to then I will show you this welcome screen. So here the installation has been completed. Just we need to reboot. So, reboot now. If it is come again for this installation, means you need to close this virtual box. Just over of this. So you need to click on settings. Uncheck the CD DVD ROM. Okay. Then click this now. Now you can see on the screen. We need to select your Fedora 22. Center. Friend, you can see on the screen uh, the Fedora release 22 version showing. And we need to log in with the uh, username, the cloud, password which I have given here for the installation. So that's it. Uh, I have already not given the password. So, so you can see on the screen this is has been login. 
login with root also and check the final for any clarification please comment below to my video like us and share my video among your friends and relatives help to spread my channel so please subscribe to cloudnet channel